35, 40 years, 100 years, some dudes that been down like 40 straight without going home, you know what I'm saying? The system, you know what I'm saying? They up in this piece, you know what I'm saying? They get here like, and like, you know, you could just imagine. Free the guys, free the bros, free the men. We took a loss when they took you in that pen. I'm on call till they put you in the wind, and then we gon' ball, I'ma put us in the wind. Numbers is incarcerated, we not gonna say where, you know what I'm saying? Cause we don't need, you know what I'm saying? This is this is going to the internet. And we know it's a lot of police ass niggas on the internet, but we're gonna try to dip dip and dodge through with a message for the for the culture. You know what I'm saying? With something I got a lot right. of family members that's incarcerated, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of family that I got that's incarcerated has been incarcerated for a while, you know what I'm saying? Um I've been incarcerated not for a long time. I mean, little the longest I, I did was two years, you know what I'm saying, in prison, which is I mean, which is now I'm saying it was it was definitely a, a learning experience, but you know what I'm saying I'm talking about brothers that's you know that spent serious time, you know what I'm saying, behind bars, like at least five, ten years. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where where I understand even though, you know what I'm saying, me doing me doing two years, even, you know, being being able to be behind a maximum security, you know what I'm saying, facility. So I behind that wall. So I understand how brothers live. You know what I mean? I had to kick it with the lifers and shit like that. So I I'm able to, you know what I'm saying, empathize and sympathize with my brothers. But with so with that said, you know what I'm saying, there's a lot that's, you know, a lot a lot of a lot of brothers forget about our brothers behind bars. That's once they especially once they've been down there, once that five year mark passed and once that 10 year mark passed, a lot of people start falling off. Like you know what I'm saying niggas ain't really there. But everybody on the street wanna wanna you know wanna promote a certain lifestyle and and and, and you know what I'm saying and not see both sides of the coin. So I got two brothers here, like you know what I'm saying, living, breathing testaments, soldiers walking through, you know what I'm saying, a storm right now as we speak, like you know what I'm saying, to let me know a few different things from a few different aspects, you know what I'm saying, while still you know what I'm saying? Trying to, you know I mean, give y'all brothers a voice too, to, you know what I'm saying? And, and use this platform we build it so y'all can have a voice too. Say, you know what I'm saying? Share y'all talents or whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? But niggas try to cut the lights out on y'all. I'm going to keep them shits going. You know what I mean? So what's the word? What y'all what what got going on right now? Yeah, y'all, what's up? Peace, y'all. Peace. New religion entertainment. Y'all know what it is, man. We just hit speak on the young guys, old guys. It was basic of life, you know what I'm saying? Like, like 35, 40 years, 100 years, some dudes that been down like 40 straight without going home, you know what I'm saying? Like in this piece, you know what I mean? In the present system, you know what I'm saying? They up in this piece, you know what I'm saying? They get here like, and like, you know, you could just imagine this go, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you were in the streets. So tell, tell, me, a little bit, tell yeah. me a little bit about that, like, how 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 is how is not even from the inmate standpoint like like the uh, like the guards and shit like how how do they treat y'all like what's the you know what I'm saying what's the what's the temperature and is it like real racist and shit like is is what how they treating the I mean it ain't, it ain't, nah 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 it ain't 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 real racist it's just that like you know it, it, it's pushing and like they don't treat us to a point where. They beat notice and all that shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Some understand, some don't. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta act accordingly and do what you need to do to get home. That's first and foremost. Right. When you up in here. So you know what I'm saying? Okay. When you when you see dude, it's a lot of <laughs> it's, 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 it's a lot it's, of balance in that. It's a lot of balance, a couple of bodies, it be bodies and shit in here. You now I mean shit break out all the time. It's present. There's niggas with 40 and 50 years in here. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas with what size, in here facility, well. what size facility is that? How how big is it? How big is how many inmates is in it? How many inmates in that facility? It's like it's like three thousand inmates here. It's like three thousand inmates. Three thousand? Yeah, it's like three thousand inmates here. You know what I'm saying? It is two sides. I got like a y'all like a compound with different like dorms, or it's like different sides. Or you wear the dorms, they got dorms and they got open dorms. You know what I mean? The cell houses. I mean, I'm in the cell house right now. See, I'm in the cell house. This is the cell house right here. I'm in the cell house. I'm walking around inside the rooms. Look, you know what I'm saying? It's three beds. They got three beds. They used to have two. They got three now. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me get it. 
my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Let me, let me, let me, let me get a, let me get a fair view of this shit. You know? Waste my cool lady, it's all good. But uh, <laughs> it's the cell, we in the cell house, you know what I mean? We come out a little bit, you know what I mean? We open the door, I'm gonna open the door, I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna give a little worldwide this motherfucker. I'm gonna walk around for a minute, you know what I mean? Since we dealing with motherfucking new religion, new religion entertainment, you get it raw. New right, religion. Wipe that awesome. camera off, this something on the camera? Hmm? What's that hmm. like on the camera? You gotta like wipe off the camera or something? Like it's like a smudge. Is that like a, it's like a yeah, scratch on the camera? Crack, like my film. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, we good then. That's cool. I mean, you walk around. I got time and shit. Okay, that's like the that's okay. That's like the, that's like the um day room area, right? It's like the motherfucking thing. It's like a warehouse and shit. So you gotta goddamn shit. Just walk around, see the game for a minute. Just sit down, see the game. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I see. So it's like a yeah, that's like the it's like the tears. Okay, the two tears joint. I'm writing books. I got books coming on me on a positive level. Hey, you know what I mean? You know, niggas like okay. a lot of niggas put your peace. Okay, so dudes, so so you you putting the book together. So I want to ask you a couple questions about. Yeah. I want to ask you a couple questions about the uh, about the day to day in there, bro. So you said you said it's three thousand. You said it's three thousand in there, right? Yeah, it's like three thousand in there. I mean, it's two sides, and so you come out with child, right? With some, you know, the dome you in. If you in deep part. You come out with deep part, you know what I'm saying? They call it right. If you want another right, right. part, so you come out the, with everybody part, can't mix and mix. Yeah, okay. you, you like so everybody don't come out point, together like so. Nah, nah, but you can see each other. It ain't hard really to bump into a motherfucker. If you can save answers, you got a little drama, or whatever. You need to take in your situation, you know what I mean? So you ain't no running the high and we in prison, you know what I mean? Even if a nigga went out the side, he still can skip past the guards that come holler at you. You know what I mean? Whatever situation like that. So if you like bad men or running around spreading false information, they doing what you gotta do. You know what I mean? They can record up in certain situations. So even people with power, even got like the big dogs or the, or the big homies or whatever you want to call them, is where you from or whatever state you in, you know what I mean? You want whatever you want to call them, you know, you can uh they, like a lot of dudes pushing peace, they like they're trying to get their money, they trying to get their families out of certain situations, you know what I'm saying? So they, you know, they're trying to find okay. a way out. And again, a lot of stuff, be a lot of stuff going on that a lot of people don't know about. And uh, just stand away from the penitentiary, man, prison, jail, violence is hard when you come from like section eight and poverty and shit, you know what I mean? We all get this message from a lot of people, but when you're getting it raw, you're gonna get it raw, man. You got young dudes in here with bodies, life sentences, man, 40 years, 50 years. You know what I mean? You're gonna see, you know what I mean? I'm around them. I got like I got like I got a life sentence. That's 35 years. I've been down for like 18. They have like some type of pill bar shit on like a little bracelet shit, you know what I mean? But I, I got a life sentence. It's a body, it's murder. So when you pick up guns and when you wanna play with guns, and when you wanna, you know what I mean? Right. You wanna play with guns and shit happens when you play with guns. You all know that. And when you you can't get involved. Right. This is how they're going to act. You're going to be locked up in the system. This is new religion we talk about. I right? mean, somebody that's giving it to you all. A positive situation. You know what I'm saying? Got a couple of homies in here yeah. that be spitting this shit. We're going to spit. We're going to get opportunities. Right. So we don't want to blame nobody right. for nothing. You know what I'm saying? You just got to take the signs and opportunities that you get and, and, you know, try to use them. But, you know, like I said, Right. You see a lot of a lot of things like I'm not even gonna lie, like you you know, for us too, like a lot of dudes was you know, we got lied to, you know what I mean? Because dudes glorify certain things. So, like right now, like you know, dudes, dudes is respecting the shooter, dudes is dudes is young dudes is wanting to be shooters, dudes is you know what I mean. So it's like, yeah, like 
dudes got to know, like, if you're ready to get that 35 and you're going to stand 10 toes and you're going to keep your head up and you're going to be able to do that, then, you know what I'm saying? Then stand on your business. But if not, like, I mean, if there's a better way, which there nine times out of 10 is, like, you know what I'm saying? They got to hear from niggas like you, man. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That, that put that pain in and, and had to stand in front of the judge and, and see what it was about that individual shit. taking accountability for their own actions and then the stuff that you hear that being regurgitated to the, the youth now is that they glorify a lot of violence stuff because they think violence is the way that you have to be to coincide with today's society due to the environment that we come from and i think we've been misled yeah, and told but now that we know better we can do better mm -hmm. And a lot of them ain't gonna stand. You know, a lot of them ain't gonna ain't gonna stand strong like y'all brothers are, man. You see, they gonna fold. They gonna tell you. See, you see what's yeah, you know I mean, dudes gonna take their own like dudes ain't gonna dudes ain't gonna be able to make it, man. That's the sad part. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna introduce myself properly. My name is Divine, and yeah. I'm serving. I'm serving a life plus five life which is a life sentence in the state of georgia it's 35 years for felony murder armed robbery aggravated assault and possession of fire on a commission of crime and i'm here i have because i have to take accountability for my own actions but i was told on by a co-defendant and these dudes will be claiming that they really they gonna keep it 100 them gonna be the first ones that got they ain't dime you out to the folks when they come get you and shit so I'm Back. just gonna keep it all the way real. I ain't no such thing when that is a true saying, trust nobody. And that's some real shit. Or you're gonna be in a six by nine cell eating motherfucking trade cold trays and getting goddamn talked to like you just not even a human being. Like them niggas exactly. out there, like niggas, like niggas used to be coming home all swollen and shit, talking about some they been making bum bays, fucking bitches, and doing all that shit, which gay, like mm -hmm. you think. Coming to prison is like a college or some shit, goddamn, because they promoting that shit out there for the youth. But the truth is, goddamn, you okay. come in this motherfucker, goddamn, you probably have a motherfucker abroad that ride with you five or ten years or something like that, if that long, and then she gonna go straight, run it off with your bread. The shit get real ugly and grimy behind this motherfucker wall about this paper. And uh, they, they just they lying to the youth out there making them think it's all right to be a shooter. You, the same way you can be a shooter, you could be a professor, a doctor, a lawyer, a football player, a basketball player, besides putting a goddamn gun in your hand. Or you're going to be 35 so years true. later, goddamn. Niggas don't give a fuck about the shooter. You a has been. You get out right now. I've been gone like 14 years. I get out right now. The shit that I, the work that I put in is new niggas on them blocks. So when I come back there and I want my respect, I got to earn my respect all again. That's the life that I'm into. Yeah. Because shit go on. Life constantly evolves each and every day. That's right. So, so you said 14. That's how, that's, that's how long you've been down, 14. Yeah, 14 years. Okay. Yeah, most exactly. definitely, man. I'm, I just want to tell the youth, man, if you got a chance to straighten up, you, you can do all that stuff. You can be a gentleman and you can be a gangster at the same time. This is this is a thinking game. The man who thinks they on the street the longest. If you don't think it, you can't lose control or you're not intact with your emotional side. If you're not intact with your emotions, you're going to fall every time. Don't let your goddamn emotions override your intelligence. You a street nigga, you know That's how to move. Bro, like, <laughs> exactly. Like for me, bro, I, I'm not even going to lie. I'm so glad you're saying that because I feel like, you know, that was that was a major thing for me why I got into, to, you know what I mean, the gangs and drugs and all that because I really, I didn't have a strong positive role model in my life. Like the, the role models I had in my life that was strong was doing negative negative things. You know what I mean, so I, I never seen, I never knew that you could be strong and positive. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just automatically thought either you was a gangster or you were soft. You know what I mean? Stupid, ignorant shit. Like, you know what I mean? Didn't learn as a man. Like, nah, those niggas running around doing that ain't the tough niggas. The the, the really the strongest people, the, the real gangsters, so they say, you know what I mean? as the ones that's handling their responsibilities, not ducking and not dodging from them, not being lazy men, being being disciplined, being militant men. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and we really get mis we get those misconstrued so much because that lack of a positive example in our environment so much. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we fall victim to 
trying to prove our strength in the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just fucked up. But you know what I'm saying? Hopefully so we can we can get through to some brothers and you know? Yeah, man, you know, uh, then being a gangster, not showing your side, being masculine because you a man, you automatically gonna show and prove who you are at the end of the day if you are who you say you are. Exactly. Just, exactly. You know, I would say like the music and the things that are leading us. Obviously, we know people are orchestrating these things, but we got to do a better job of reaching in and, and showing each other love and proper guidance. You know what I'm saying? As elders, as old. That's why you know what I'm saying. That's why now that I. I see better and I'm, you know, I'm trying to build better for my life. I feel like it's so important to understand why I made those wrong calculations and thinking and try to reach back and let people know, like, you know what I'm saying? And even, you know what I'm saying, us getting together, doing this and you being able to, they, them being able to see you, you know what I mean? And hear from you, like, they got to fucking think twice. Like, if they see you and hear from you and still, and still want to, you know what I mean, still want to be the shooter, like, then they, they must want to be there. Like, you know what I'm saying? And y'all niggas got to start running with the motherfucking bag, too. We love y'all, but as black people, we've been enslaved as a nation, a whole nation. No other nationality that has happened to. No other nationality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to start, you know what I mean, pushing, coming through. And for those that do get a big bag or niggas and niggas dollars, just circulate the dollar in the community, you know what I mean, or whatever. You know what I'm saying, just be more hands on to your people. You know what I'm saying? You know, trying to clean up, even if you got to build schools or whatever like that. Pass out a positive message. Don't run away. Don't run away and seem like a stranger. And I know it's like if you get a certain amount of money and you come from out of poverty, you have to be taught how to spend it. You never had it before. You know what I'm saying? So you might that's do all the fact. wrong thing, but that's all you know. You don't know nothing. You're going to do all the wrong things. You know, Mike. You're going to do all the wrong things. I just slip and say, hey, I want to come to prison. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say, like, time is hard, but I had opportunities to do right, and I ain't take them. You know what right. I mean? I chose yeah. the streets. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, really, man, the street life for me, even though I had to go back to school and shit, was better. But, and I had it, like, hard and whatever like that. But I'm always willing to help the people to give out a positive message. If I got a dollar, I'm willing to give you. We're gonna, we gonna get back there. I wanna, I wanna, tr I wanna yeah. switch gears for a second, right? I wanna ask you about. I wanna ask you a few survival what's questions. Your, right? What's your? What's my? I guess your survival like? kit in there. Yeah, kind of like you know what I mean. Yeah, what's your life like type shit, but. But what what what's um, like what that, do you use what you before you move on right you ask what's the five essential things that you have to survive in prison first of all being that you have to protect yourself yeah. at all times you're gonna need you a banger you're gonna need you some good books to read uh, then some self-educating books you're gonna need a stamps because you never know when you're gonna go to the hole and you got to send a letter or some mail out like, you, and you and you gonna need you somebody on the compound like a buddy a, a buddy that you can count on to get things handled until you get back on the pound. And then the fifth thing that you gonna always need you gonna always hear it have your respect at all times because somebody's trying to try your take your respect level down at all times. So you are gonna have to have some hands or be able to goddamn battle. But you always prepare for war, goddamn. But you want peace. And that's and them the five essential right. things that you must have to survive behind the wall. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I heard I want to talk food. What's the what's the top? Give me your top three to five or whatever your top meal, whatever um meals that y'all make, like prison food that you that you make, obviously. You know what I'm saying? And then, right. and tell me how you make it and all that shit. All right, I'm due to the fact that I'm vegan, I came from the street vegan, so you gonna but I have to compromise with myself and I eat tuna. Like you gonna have tuna, soup, rice, and you mix all that shit in the bag together with refried beans. Regardless, if you don't like it, you're gonna eat it because that's the only protein that you're gonna get throughout the day because they only feed you two times two times a day on the weekend. And on Monday through Friday, or Monday through Thursday, you get three meals, but they bullshit ass meals, like the bare minimum, man. Like 
man. Right. Like the shit that they feed you, man. Like you can't even describe them. Like, a lot of processed foods, like goulash type shit. Like you really getting the bare minimum food that you're supposed to get. So you really maltreating the iron deficiency and all that type of stuff. So you have to do what you can do to compromise to make sure that you still stay physically fit. And working out is essential right. in here too. You don't have to work out to keep your mind, body, mind, and spirit right because every day you around a lot of different people and a lot of different energy and spirits. And uh, then you know somebody put some out there in the out atmosphere and the universe it come back to you because you be the one that bite on to that. Like somebody might get up in a bad mood and walk around the door and be like, "Who want to die today?" And all that type of stuff, sending bad energy out into the atmosphere and that shit returns you never know where it's gonna go so you gotta be on point at all times we give it to you live and like we still we it's still like right. booty and all that like we still you know you know me i'm la la man you know, anybody that know me know i'm la la we don't broadcast anything that's wrong or whatever like that just the positive side down. how long like, you been down i've been down 18. how long you, know, you been like down I came, me i came home on the pill barn for like a bracelet in Georgia, you know, but I've been down 18 all together. 18, I was in the feds at first. I did fed time. I did fed time for all those out there. I did fed time, but then I in, in New York, I'm from New York, a lot of dudes you know me in Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Bronx, Atlanta, anywhere I go, Staten Island, Long Island, St. Louis, Alabama, or West Coast. Or make a whack honey or something, you know what I mean? Like, I, I turned down a lot of interviews with a lot of dudes. I ain't, I ain't big headed, none of that crazy stuff. But, you know, new religion, what it is, because the message he gives me, you know what I mean? So, there's a lot of good things that I see that he's doing that I'm, I'm respecting. You know what I mean? I respect what he's doing. This is the last thing I want to touch on. This is this, this the last thing I want to touch on from, from both of y'all, too. I want to get both of y'all opinion on this. Like, this you touched support. on it earlier, but like, really. I, I just really want to elaborate and let them know, like, people not going to support you. Even, even I don't care how many people you with, what kind of gang you like, people not going to support you when you walking through this time in your life. Like, like who's, who's there? Like, bro, been down 18 years. You've been down 14 years. Like, who's really there with you, bro? Who's doing that bit with you? Like, no shit, my mom's brothers, none of them homeboys that I used to run the block with and chill with and do my crimes with. Man, they send you some shit like every now and then. But other than that, man, your main support system is going to be your moms, your dad, the people who really love you and genuinely care for you. Man, all that other shit, goddamn, them niggas going to leave you high and dry. They, goddamn, they give you a gun when you get out. Right? They're going to yeah, call your girl true. more than they call you, man. Right? More than they check on you. Yeah, true indeed. Yeah, man. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, I was married. Nah, I, I was married. You. I was married, then I got a divorce, right? So I was married in the street, right? Even when I was running around yeah. wild and I was married, so I got kids, right? So I'm like, I'm like remember, Tripping you always do too, too, too well, something's gonna calm your ass down, even if it's bullets. The street's gonna show your ass that all the time. So you're gonna know better, you know what I mean? So the only thing about it is that keeping it solid, what, what pisses me off the most is this. I'm, Family gonna always be there, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you got some real good homeboys and friends that that's loyal. Cause some of my homeboys they slept at my house, and I did like 15 years without without asking my family for. What I'm trying to tell you is that I'm from the slums. But what I'm trying to tell you is this: I had some good friends too that I know from New York, man, and all around, even from the South. That when I got in trouble, they was there for me. You know what I mean? And uh. But sometimes okay. you need good people, man, and they go the other way, but always try to be like loyal. So that, that'd be the most biggest thing mm -hmm. in my heart to be like, I know money sometimes is the root of all evil. And sometimes prison, you gotta do a lot of time to realize and grow mentally. You know what I mean? But sometimes it takes prison. And hopefully some people will come back. We'll give out a message and it'll help well, I guess next time we could get we could get um I wanted to get some people, you know what I mean? Some 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 people got some bars, some motherfucking, you know what I mean, some poems, whatever. Do want to show some drawings, whatever, like whatever, whatever talent nigga want to display, like it's your boy live, man. Y'all niggas know what it is, it's new religion. Nah I mean. Hope y'all catch you on to the message. We live. Give a shout out to the whole fucking GA. We give a shout out Three. to <laughs> peace to the gods. You know what I mean? To Islam. You know what I mean? To the bloods, to the crib, all sets. You know what I mean? 
And all the brothers that do right, stand up men, free the good men, you know what I'm saying? Gene, the, the peace on that, be pushing for peace, man, we with that, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You hear that? It's that joint, man, that theme song, man. Yeah. Free the guys, free the bros, free the men. We took a loss when they took you in that pen. I'm on call till they put you in the wind. And then we gon' ball, I'ma put us in the winds. Free the guys, free the bros, free the men. We took a loss when they took you in that pen. I'm yeah, you wanna throw some shout outs, bro, before we. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, freedom, man. Don't see all the brothers just locked up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, shout out to all the brothers that's locked up, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, free us, man. We see what's going on with the drink champs and all that. What's up, Nori? You know, y'all, nigga, Nori, you know what it is. Rest in peace to all the brothers. What's up, GA, A Town? I mean, New York, Fuck Rock. Southside, y'all niggas know what it is. Rest in peace to Lodi Mac, man. To all the bros, you know what I mean? Nah, I mean, y'all niggas know what it is. Nah, I mean, I know the shorty low. Nah, I mean, I know the shorty low album about to drop, man. You got some heavy bars about to come. I'm working, man. 